Hey, Omis, I'm Stephen Iwashi from Adventure Yoga, and this is a yoga pose breakdown of Paschimottanasana, or Seated Forward Fold. I'm going to guide you through a step-by-step -step process to get into the pose and some tips to help you refine your pose. Please unroll your mat, have a seat on it, and I will see you there in just a few seconds. For this Paschimottanasana yoga pose breakdown, we're going to start seated in Dandasana, or staff pose. So sit on your mat, stretch your legs out in front of you, and place your hands on the ground beside your hips. If your lower back rounds here, you can always grab a yoga blanket or a cushion and sit on that. If you touch your lower back and feel your vertebrae sticking out, that's your lower back rounding. We want our spine to be nice and long and straight here before we start. Then stretch your arms up overhead. Tone your belly, move your belly back towards your spine a little and lift into your ribs, lift into the sides of your body. And then start to flex at your hips. Grab your big toes and wrap your thumbs around your big toes. If you can't hold your feet and keep your legs straight, just bend your knees, no problem. I like holding the big toes, but you can also hold the outer edges of your feet. So if that's the variation you'd like, do that. Pull on your feet, resist a little with your feet and push down with your hands and then Stretch your spine long and fold over your legs. Move your shoulders away from your ears. And then work to walk your sit bones back a little bit. It's the very bottom of your pelvis. You can do that sort of one side at a time. It's not a big movement, but it is gonna help you find a little more hip flexion. Move the front of your pelvis or your pubic bone down and back. Push it down with your hands, keep your heels on the ground, pull back with your hands and resist with your feet. Stretch along through your spine. This is Pashimottanasana. To deepen your pose a little bit, lift your ribs away from your thighs a little. It'll feel like you're rounding your back. Then you're gonna use that little lift to stretch forward, and get more length in your spine. And as you stay here, your body will get a little bit used to the shape. So keep working to deepen the pose. And keep your body working. Intense stretch of the back or of the west is what this pose translates at. Intense stretch of the back or the West is what this pose name translates as. So work to keep getting that intense stretch. Push down with your hands, pull back with your hands, resist a little with your feet, move your shoulders away from your ears, stick your butt back and stretch like you're trying to get your head to touch your feet. And to come out, keep holding your feet, Lift your head and chest. And then sit up and walk your hands back to Dandasana. And this is a good pose to counter Paschimottanasana with, or if you want a nice opening for the front of your body and your hips, walk your hands back behind you. Push down through your hands and your heels. Lift your hips up. Stretch your toes forward and stretch it all up. Hervotanasana, lift through your hips, lift through your chest. And that's Paschimottanasana. And that's your yoga pose breakdown for Paschimottanasana or seated forward fold. I hope it's helped you learn a little bit more about your pose and how to refine your pose. And if you'd like to learn even more, you can head over to my website, adventureyogaonline.com, where I've written a whole blog post about Paschimottanasana, the benefits, the step-by-step -step guide that goes with this video. And you can find a direct link to that in the video description just below this. If you'd like to do a whole class, there's a whole class right there I recommend. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do just click on my picture there. 
Hi, hope you have a great day and I will see you on the mat soon. Namaste, homies.